Hey guys, it's me, Nurse. Did you know that in Project Zomboid, if you walk up to a zombie, you will very likely get bitten. However, if you walk up to a tree, nothing will happen. This is because a zombie has a mouth with teeth in it. A tree does not have this, but you do, you weirdo. Because of this, our scientists are working on a theory that zombies actually come from humans. However, they have not yet discovered any concrete proof. Thank you for that mind-opening public service announcement, strange nurse person. And to all of you watching, welcome back to your free AM news. Reporting for duty is myself, Reporter Reporter, here to report the daily reports from our reporters. On today's news, the police are looking for a man responsible for the burglary, the burglary of multiple small communities establishments, as well as the burning down of an abandoned building which was, in the past, used by the military. This man possesses firearms and wildly fires at anything that moves. Miraculously, no one has yet lost their life. However, the current location of the man is unknown. Won't you take me to Pumpkin Town? Won't you take me to Pumpkin Town? Won't you? Oh, hey guys! I haven't noticed you there. Oh, how I've missed you all. How are you all? How y'all doing? How are you, F Fred? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Schizophrenia series, the finale. Oh, we're making this a trilogy, baby. You got it. And I have quite the plan for today because today our target is the Grand Ohio Mall. It is located all the way in the corner of Louisville, and we are gonna have to get there. So what we are going to do is we're gonna get in our car, we are going to travel along this road here through Muldraw, as well as through some extra little stops, until eventually, ideally, we reach Louisville. From there on out, we are going to raid the military outpost for any forms of weapons that we can find, as well as protective gear, and then, on foot, we are going to make our way through Louisville, and we are going to end with with overtaking the Grand Ohio Mall. And all this while being completely off of our schizophrenia medication. So then, why don't we hop into our car and we continue on the journey. Let's just lock the doors properly so that it is green because I got told off for that in the last episode. Apparently, you know, unsafe driving and all that. Now this is going to be quite the long journey, and as I can already tell, we're gonna be playing Mario Kart along the, the, the entire road. Which, hey, you know, at least we won't get bored. But damn, there is definitely quite a few of them here, huh? We are eventually gonna need to find a place to, uh... Ooh, what is this? Never mind, I'm not interested anymore. But we are eventually gonna have to find a place to sleep the night. So I'm thinking we're gonna make our way down to Muldro and we are gonna secure ourselves a place in the hotel. That would be quite a nice place to sleep in. Oh, I haven't been on this game for absolute ages. God, it's been so busy lately. I'm very happy to be back on it. You know, dodging zombies on the road, feeling the hair in my wind. Ooh, cones. Wonder what that's about. Don't get distracted, Sebediya. We have a goal in mind and we have to- Ooh, that's a congregation! Hello there! As I was saying, Sebediya, don't get distracted. We have a place to be and the clock is ticking. Now, unlike the previous episodes, this episode is going to be a little bit longer. Mainly because the previous episodes were day 1 and 2, then day 3 and 4, and this episode is going to be day 5, 6 and 7. If I'm planning everything correctly, then day 5 should consist of us traveling and reaching Louisville, maybe raiding the little military outpost. Day 6 should be us trying to get through Louisville into the Grand Ohio Mall. And our last day, Day 7, should be us taking over the Grand Ohio Mall. Which, oh my god, I, I cannot wait for that! It's gonna be amazing! Oh yeah, we've we've reached Mall Draw, by the way. We're just kind of driving along the outskirts of it. But it's not too late yet. I mean, our, you know, Larry is tired. Poor little Larry wants a nap, but... It's not too bad yet. So I am thinking we continue and I think there is a place later on where we could maybe take a nap I don't really have a reason to stop in Muldraw anyway, so we'll just we'll just keep going. Ah, drowsy All right, Larry's starting to get a little tired, but hey again Whoops, I was not paying attention. I'm so sorry car. I'm a horrible driver 
Oh, uh, let's just continue. The sooner we're out of the city, the better. Ooh, we've reached turn. All right, if I'm correct, there should be a gas station somewhere along this road, maybe further down. But we are gonna stop by it, we're gonna fuel up. It's not like we need it, but you know, better safe than sorry. And it'll also give us a nice opportunity to sleep, which that would be quite good. Now I just have to find a place where it is. I, I don't remember where it is, so I'm not too sure. Ooh, we've hit a bit of a, a road block over here. Now I wonder if I can get safely through it. Looks like it's gonna be quite the tight squeeze. <laughs> Just like with your mom. <laughs> Jokes, in it? Right, we're through. Ooh, an ambulance. Ah, here we go. Okay, so if I go down here now, this is the gas station, but there is obviously quite a lot of zombies here, which not ideal, but I can deal with that, I think. Now I do not want to fight, so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna lead them away. Oh, we're gonna do our favorite thing that we always do in this scenario. We're gonna call them, we're gonna congregate them, we're gonna get them into a massive cluster, and we're gonna take them away. Now, hopefully I can do that. And afterwards, if there is any left over, that's the ones we're gonna kill. So then, let's begin. Oh, look at them chasing me. Adorable. You know what? There isn't too many of them. But at the same time, I don't want to get cheeky because in this game, that, that you know, you can pretty much write that on your tombstone. Greedy bastard got cheeky. And I don't think I want that written on my tombstone. Right, let's lead these lot away. We don't want them anywhere near here. Now it's just a question. How should I ditch them? Let me just circle around them a little bit just so I don't lose any along the way. We don't want that. That would just give me a bit more work later on and uh, yeah. Don't feel like doing that. There we go. Right, come on then, school children. It is time for you to be dumped into the forest. Somewhere. I don't remember where there is a... Okay, so we gotta go up here. Hmm. Ooh, a tent. Two tents. All right, and a little fire thing. Some traps, I'm guessing. That's really rare. Whoop, almost got me. Haha, <laughs> almost had me there, Yeah, bitch. Right, how do I get rid of them now? Oi, over this way. Come on. So if I just kind of lead them into the forest and then I make my way through as well, this is going to be dangerous. Yeah, seems about right. So now I just have to make a way, my way through this. So if I just keep going over here, I think I should be able to make it out at some point. Okay, and I see the end on the horizon. Ta-da! Here we are. Oh! No, you don't! Let's keep going! So now, I just need to kind of run very slowly and quietly, nice and sneakily, over to this way. So if I just go down here, I don't think I should be attracting too much attention. And it's definitely gonna help a lot more being next to the wall. And it seems like we've succeeded! Doesn't look like there is any zombies that I can see. So let's move our car here, let's get some fuel, and then let's prepare this place so that we can spend the night here. Hopefully the car won't attract too many zombies, but eh, you never know. Now how close can I get this? That should be good. All right, let's leave our car here. And am I gonna be able to pump it? Refuel from gas pump, here we go. I had no idea you could do this until very recently, if I'm gonna be honest. Someone commented it down saying, hey, you don't have to keep putting it in the, the, the gas canister and then putting it into the, the car. You can just do it straight from the, from the pump. And I'm just there like, oh my God, no way. <laughs> Definitely a lot easier. Right, that should have worked. Let's just check that the fuel is full, which it is, 38 by 38. Nice. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, all right then. And here I thought I had company, but nope, guess not. All right then, let's get on the inside, away from the hallucinations. Ooh, we've got some zombies here though. Ah, this'll be all right. Let me just turn on the light, just so we're not fighting in the dark. Come on, then. There we go. Any more of you? Ah, hello there. Don't mind me. Just gonna take care of you. There you go. I think there might have been one more, but I don't really 
see it. I hear it though. By the way, fun fact, this building was my first ever base in Project Zomboid when I began playing. Now that was very fun. Ooh, ice cream. Hell yeah, we're gonna eat some ice cream. Eat all of it. Larry needs to gain some weight anyway. Poor guy has been underweight for a long while. And it's pretty much getting dark now, so I think it's time we go to sleep. Do we have anything in here that we that might be of use? We have a crowbar, not the best condition though, and some bleach. Eh, we don't really need any of this, so I'm just gonna leave it. And here we go. Let's just put these down. We don't want anyone seeing us. That door is locked, good. There's nothing on this TV, so just turn that off. And we've got a mini fridge with some fresh ham. Well, that's decent. We're gonna take the water bottle, mainly because we never know when we're gonna need water. And we do have some fruit, so we're gonna keep that for breakfast. And then after we go, we're gonna grab some of the leftover ice cream. Why don't you refill your empty bottles as well, Larry? That might be a bit helpful for the future. I think Larry needs a bath. Larry, why don't why don't you wash yourself? Why don't you wash your clothes as well? I mean, after you've escaped that burning military base, that was definitely not burned down because of a stupid mistake that you've done. You didn't really have a bath since, so I think you deserve this with everything that you've been through. Oh wow, I just realized there's some soap here. Eh, we could have used that. Don't matter now though. Well, considering everything, Larry should be relatively safe in here. And oh boy, we got a bed. It's been a while since Larry slept in a good bed. He's only been sleeping in a car for a long while now. Right then, Larry, enjoy the bed. And I will see you in the morning. Good night. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Nope, not dealing with that. Not right away. You guys really had to go and just be annoying, didn't you? Take this and <laughs> I missed. God, no respect. Anyway, guys, good morning. Welcome to officially day five. Let me just, uh, nurse? Is that you? Bro, nurse, what are you doing here, man? What's wrong with you? Rest in peace, girl. Ooh, before we go, I need to grab an ice cream. Let's just eat all of this fruit that we have over here. Come on, Larry, munch it. Hom nom 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 nom. And let's grab ourselves an ice cream for along the way. Ooh, and a burrito, why not? We're going on a big, big field trip. We might as well be stocked on food. A garbage bag. Nah, we don't really need a garbage bag on this playthrough. Ooh, am I gonna be able to get through? There we go. Right, let's get out of here. And we've got another roadblock. Wow, these are uh, very common here, huh? Just get around, and we're free! Let's fly! Soar! Just don't crash. Ooh, what is this place? A Spiffo's restaurant. What's down there? I don't really have the time or the need to stop there, so we're just gonna continue on, on forward to our goal. Wow, look at this forest. It's getting proper dense here. Jeez. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do want to just kind of get in the forest and just... Just explore a little bit. Just see what's in this dark, scary... Huh. Yeah, nah, we're good. I'm very heavily rethinking my choices here and uh, definitely not worth it. Let's get out of here. Now, I think I'm headed the right way, but I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not really sure. But you know, well, that, that's that's what, that's the fun part of this little field trip. We have, we all, you know, it, we end up in the location where we want to end up eventually. We'll have a few little hiccups along the way, but hey, that's part of the fun. Let's just avoid the zombies and the crashed cars. And we do have the road splitting off into different parts. I think all I need to do, though, is just continue on this one. I hope. 
I should probably check the sat nav. Ooh, we got some fuel here. But we have just fueled up, so let's just keep going. Ah, train tracks. I've never seen the train station. I'll need to put that on my bucket list. I bet it looks really cool. Ooh, maybe a base outside of a train station. Living in a, a, a train trailer with a little garden just outside. Actually sounds quite fancy, that does. Now hold on, where the f*** am I? Whoa, okay. Um, now... Now that, that has me quite intrigued. Right, let's take care of these guys. Three police officers versus a schizophrenic man. Now this should be interesting. Schizophrenic man one, police officer zero. Oh, I love you, Larry. You're my precious baby. Now did they have anything good? They actually did. They've got quite a few good things. Hey, I'm trying to loot the corpses here. Have some respect. Filth. Riot helmet. Pistol. Shotguns. Oh, another one. Will you give it up? Just leave. Thank you. They have quite a few good bits, but on, at the same time, I don't really need to loot them. I'm gonna check the car, see if they have any, like, boxed ammo for a shotgun, and then that's, that's pretty much all I need, really. So I'm not gonna look for anything else. Don't really need to bother to, anyway. Come on, stay away. That's right, kill him by hitting his leg. Sounds very accurate, everybody knows that a zombie's weak spot is their leg. It's like the Achilles heel. Anything in the trunk? Anything in the back? Aha! Now that is what I'm talking about. Let's take that. Smash that window, let's get in, let's see if there's anything in here that I need. CD, where is everybody? You're correct, Jerry Jones, where is everybody? They're all gone. They're all dead. Look at that. That's your answer. Any more boxes of shotgun ammo on this? Nope. Maybe inside the car? No, just a Lewis wool map. Good. Not the correct corner, but that's fine. At least this will now serve as an anchor for us to make sure that we're going the right way. Which I think, as long as we stick to this road, we should be going right the right way anyway. I hope so, at least. Right, Larry. Take care of these long. Ah, yeah. And take this. Oh, right then. Let's continue. If the if the car actually starts, aha, there we go. I wouldn't blame it if it didn't start. I mean, we have put this car through so much. Oh wow. Ooh. Okay. Um. I think the smarter option here is gonna be to just take the train tracks. Uh. This is a bit bumpy over here. Ooh. Wow, definitely a smarter option though. I was about to say, I wonder where the train tracks go off to, but here they are again. What the f*** was that? Did I just run over a hallucinated zombie? And here I thought this mod couldn't get any creepier. Jesus Christ. It really continues to surprise us. I wonder what else is there, because, I mean, so far we've been hearing what? We've been seeing things, we've been hearing demonic whispers, now we're running over imaginary zombies, we've got jump scared so many times. I wonder what else there is that we haven't seen yet. Makes you wonder, huh? Ooh, this, this place is quiet, tight with zombies. I think we're getting into a more populated area because I'm starting to see quite a bigger concentration of zombies here. No idea where exactly we are, but sorry, but I think we're getting closer to Lewisville. Eh, we'll get there eventually. I mean, I think we're going the right way. If I'm correct, we should be next to River? No, I don't know. My in my my inside compass, my inner compass, my 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 genetic sat nav is not working. I mean, I'm not very good with directions anyway. So, all of these curves and train tracks and roads, it's it's not really helping me. It's not really helping me establish where the hell we are. But I'm just gonna trust my gut instinct that we are on the right path. Ooh, we've got a bit of a roadblock, but it's alright. No trees on the side. We can make it through fine. And we're here! I guess this is where we have to abandon our car. Right, let's just take care of these stragglers. We'll grab a few bits from the car and then we will basically move on. Let's just take care of you. Let's take 
care of you. There we go. Okay, I don't want to stack them too hard, so come on, if you could die, that would be great. Do not even try that. There we go. Okay, we should be good. Let's just continue down here. Right, let's get those bits out of our car. Now, I'm gonna drop this, mainly because it's almost dead. And I know I've got a new one here. So, let's just attach this to the back. And then, let's take these, because I know we've got a bunch of... Because we are gonna need quite a bit of ammo. Let's open up these boxes. Let's put them into the bag. Let's drop this map, I don't need that. And we should be good. Got a few medical supplies in case I need them. We got beta blockers, got our ice cream and got our shotgun shells. We're good to go. Now then, our goal from here is to basically gather supplies, including as many bullets as we can, from this little military segment of the entrance of Lewisville. <laughs> Which, it should start any minute now somewhere probably shouldn't be running i don't want to get exerted ah there we go here we are now then will i be able to just walk through the gate or is it just gonna is it gonna be locked i'm not gonna be able to jump the fence mainly because it's barbed wired and i've locked them out so they should be fine if i just take care of you though there we go and i'm just gonna get out of here before they knock down the gate because having a little horde behind us that's not exactly ideal right now hello Sorry to wake you up from your slumber, but I'm gonna... Are you not gonna be attacking? Oh, it's a friendly zombie. Hello, friend. I'm gonna call you Bob. <laughs> that was such disrespect. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, we got a few people now. Oh, we got a few more people. Okay, I think this calls for a fire axe. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, don't want to get cornered. Okay, we're getting quite a few. This is my... This is... This is karma for killing Bob. Ooh. Oh, a few more. Okay. Well, that could have gone worse. There was a military boy somewhere around here. Ah, there we go. Don't really need anything from him, so I'm not gonna bother looting any of this. Let's continue on our way. And we are gonna kill anything and anyone that we come across. Mainly because it's gonna make all of this a lot easier. Ooh, a generator. Are we gonna be able to get inside this building? Well... That's not good. Can we hide in the portable toilets? I feel like that should be... That, that would be a good idea. Then again, this could serve quite useful. Let's have a look in this tent. Let's see if there's anything here that we can use. While that place attracts zombies, we can have a look here. Ooh, some shotgun shells. Okay, we want that. We'll take that. But nothing really, nothing else. Oh, we got a researcher walking towards us. Hello, ma'am. Is there anything in these boxes? No, these are empty, aren't they? Yeah, they're all empty. But as I said, that might actually be a blessing in disguise. We're going to use that as a, as, a, as a distraction. And we're going to continue on our way up here. Ooh, and we might as well go ahead and check all of these tents. Maybe we'll find some weapons. I would like an extra weapon to have as a backup. So maybe we'll find like a military knife or something. How the f is there an alarm? Oh, it's a hallucination. Military helmet, army coat. I don't need any of this. Yep, definitely a hallucination. Whoa, a gas mask? Now that's really cool. But I'm gonna keep my clothes on that I have right now. I wanna keep Larry's signature look. Plus, it's showing his six-pack, you know, to impress all the men. Because he worked, because Larry worked hard for the body that he has right now. Whoa, a military walkie-talkie. I've never knew that there was a, a military walkie-talkie. Now that's interesting. Let's just have a look through all of these. There's so much loot. I love it. I do wonder if we're gonna find any more boxes of uh, shotgun ammo, because that is the main thing that I'm really looking for here. Oh, well, this one's quite full. A lot of military walkie-talkies, not something I need, and there's a lot of generators in the area. Okay, it's not real. I'm not falling for it again. Ooh, a hunting knife. Okay, 
I'm gonna grab that because I can use that. Oh wow, that looks really good on Larry. Look at that. Can use the military knife to sneak up and stab zombies up the ass. Now that'll be useful. But seriously, no more boxes of of shotgun shot? Well, I mean, I suppose that would make sense, you know? Army not really doesn't really use shotguns. <laughs> But I was kind of hoping for a bit more different type of ammo. But, eh, what can you do? We got a hunting knife, and that's, that's, that's a good one. And wow, look at that. We've made it quite a long way. And there's quite a few bits around us. It's mostly all tents, really, isn't it? Can't get in there. And it doesn't look like there's anything crazy there. Hello. Do you happen to have the key? What do you have on you? Oh, you're a ranger. You're not part of this. All right, then. What? What is going on here? The microphone's a bit, uh, a bit too tall for, for Larry. <laughs> Larry is just a very tall midget. And that's a lot of computers. Is there anything on the news? The police are still looking for the man responsible for burning down the abandoned building, which was used in the past for military purposes. The culprit's current whereabouts are unknown. Eh, nothing important. There's a few zombies there, and I believe, if I'm correct, after we step through this gate, it's, well, it's pretty much loot as well. And I think we're ready. Let's do this. Ooh, should we try and test out the knife? Nope, we're not gonna try and test out the knife. That almost backfired really bad. Oi, stay down. I think the knife is gonna be a really good weapon on the inside, not on the <laughs> not on the outside in the open. Ooh, some tents, van, lights, toilets, radios. It looks like people were camping here, waiting to either leave the city or enter it. Maybe the city was a safe space for quite a while. And then after a little bit, you know, obviously the the break the zombie virus kind of got through. And then no one in the city was safe anymore. But not to be depressed, look at that! We have burgers! I love hamburger. Ooh, hello stranger. Do you wanna maybe just... There we go. Now we've got the burger meat, we just need the buns. Oh wow, that's a... Uh, that's a few of them. Alright then. Okay, that's these lot taken care of. What about you? What are you doing here, huh? What are you doing here? Right, I don't want to waste all of our energy just getting through this place, so I think we're just gonna keep walking and then eventually, once we reach wherever our destination is at the end of this road, and then eventually, once we reach whatever our destination is at the end of this road, we'll just get rid of any, <laughs> any zombies that we've accumulated. Ooh, we got a few more in our path and a few more coming towards us. Let's just go this way. Just continue walking without a worry. Nothing crazy going on. And here we are. I think we've passed the barriers. So now we should technically be in Louisville. Although so far I'm not really seeing much of anything. Just a big field. So uh, let's just continue walking, see where we end up. Oh wow, that's quite a few zombies. That's all right, not to worry. Ooh, what is that building? That looks cool. Oh, I just want to trail off and explore all of this. Oh boy, am I curious. Gonna be honest, I don't even know the way to the Grand Ohio Mall. Ooh, then again, I think I recognize this place. I think I recognize these plants. We're right next to the hospital, aren't we? Yeah. St. Peregrine Hospital. Thought it would be somewhere around here. Now, I'm not gonna go in there, because I don't need to. So I'm just gonna slowly get back on the road. Oh, wow, look at that. That zombie is eating. That zombie ate and left no crumbs. Jeez. But as I was saying, once we hit the more house-populated area, I'm gonna find a place to settle down for the night, because it is slowly... It's, you know, slowly starting to get towards the sunset and I do not want to be stranded in the middle of the city without any lights on in the middle of darkness. That does not sound very ideal. What is all this? 
This looks amazing. You know what though, while we are walking, we might as well have a snack. Why don't you have some grapefruit? I can see that you're getting a little hungry. I wonder what all of these buildings are. Dog nutrition. That is either a vet's or a, some kind of pet shop. And both of those sound really cool. Look at Larry, such a badass. Walking into the most populated city in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Nothing more badass than this. And Larry knows it. He is walking with purpose. <laughs> Do you hear that laugh? That is the laugh of someone with no fears. I do wonder though when we're gonna actually reach the more populated area. I wanna start going into some of the buildings, which I think we've just hit some. Look at that. Wow, these houses are massive. Okay then, let's jump the fence and let's see what we got on the other side. Ooh, just a few zombies. No worries, I can take care of these easy. We're not even tired or anything, so this'll be, this'll be a walk in the park. Ah. There we go. And down you go. Ooh, we got a few more. Okay. Stay down. There you go. Now, is there any more or we should be good. And oh, I didn't even notice. We've got, act we actually have moderate extortion. That's not, that's not good. But it's all right. We've got this house. We're going to get in and we're going to relax. Right, let's just close. Is that a real alarm? That's not a real alarm. It's not, it's not. If it is, it's not. No, just close all the curtains. Turn on the lights. We'll be all right. There we go. Closing all the curtains, making sure no one sees anything. No windows over here, but we've got some gears. So we're just going to close these. And what am I hearing? I'm hearing some banging noises, right? Where is that coming from? Oh boy. Well, it looks like we have some friendly faces popping in to give us a bit of a visit. Which, wow, there's, that's a lot of them. Let's just take care of all of them. Come on. Almost there. Just one more. Okay, think we're good. That certainly could have gone worse. Right, let's check throughout all of these doors because I have a feeling that this isn't over yet. That's a really cool garage. But yes, let's just check everywhere, make sure we have, make sure we are all completely safe. Make sure we identify the source of this noise. Knew it. And got ya. Right, that's taken care of. Nothing worth looting over here. Oh, wow. That's a, that is a lot of stuff, including something quite useful. What about this gun case? What's in it? Let's have a look, shall we? A rifle. Ooh, that's really cool. I need to get to the point where I can st start using a lot of the other guns because they're all, they're all so interesting. I want to I want to see and use all of them. Okay, we've got one more intruder over here. Let's just take care of you. Oh come on, man! Just ooh, jeez, that was just effort. Right, let's turn all of these lights off. We don't want to be attracting unnecessary attention to this house as soon as it falls night. But other than that, it looks like we should be fine. Oh, I can hear some zombies shuffling about. They're probably outside in the garden or around the fence. Not the most ideal, but nothing we can't deal with. So it should be fine. Why don't we have a look at to see what we've got going on in the kitchen? Maybe we'll find something good that we can that we can use to cook. A lot of canned food, damn. Yeah, I definitely hear someone or something walking around. Ooh, this'll be great. Right, let's take the salmon, let's take the pork chop and the mixed vegetables. Let's have that defrosting. We've got a bunch of canned stuff here, which we can use. Ooh, we even have pasta. What else do we have? Fruit jam, peanut butter, granola bar, cocoa powder, and a spoon. Let's grab the spoon. Right, let's take all of this. We're gonna cook this. 
so that it actually defrosts and then cooks. Settings, timer, turn on, and that should be all right. Oh, I love cooking in this game. So satisfying. Now, while we're doing that, we might as well have a drink, refill our bottles, have a wash because we are literally covered in blood and that can that is certainly not healthy why don't you wash your clothes as well we should keep it as sanitary as possible okay right how is the oven doing right we want to take out the vegetables let's get our frying pan as well there we go and let's prepare a stir fry right let's do the mixed vegetables first good we can throw that out now because we're not gonna need any more of it whoa pixel art Let's open some carrots, and let's open the corned beef as well. Let's add the corned beef, add some of the carrots, and we won't really need these anymore, so let's just put those down, and let's just check to see how our meats are doing. They're cooking good! We're getting there! It's slow, but it's progress! Right, the pork chop is almost cooked. There we go, so now let's just take that away. Let's leave the fish to cook for a little longer, and in the meantime, let's get our stir fry and let's add the cooked pork chop into it. And now all we need to wait for is just the salmon, which is taking a little while, but you know, that's that's cooking free, that's cooking. So it's fine, it's getting there. I just smelt my armpits and they kind of smell like chicken tikka curry. I don't remember putting any chicken tikka curry on my armpits though. Ah, our salmon is done. Right then, let's add it to our stir fry. And now I can still add a few bits, so let's add the leftover meat. And that's gonna be it. Doesn't seem like we're gonna need any, any more of that. So let's just go ahead and put the stir fry into the oven so we cook it. We wanna make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Ooh, there we go. Oh, hell yeah, baby, look at that food. Mm, it's looking bussy. And that sizzle. Ooh, that is music to my ears. These little human moments are really what keeps you sane in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, in the midst of all the killing and murder and, you know, the walking dead and all of it. It's moments like these that still make you think, hey, I'm still human. Ooh, it's done! And of course we want to make sure to turn this off. I don't feel like burning this house down today. A hundred and two hunger. Now that... Now that is amazing. Just gonna put that into my bag because we still, if I remember correctly, yeah, we still have the ice cream. So I'm gonna eat that as in the morning and then the stir fry can keep us uh, sated throughout our next adventure tomorrow. But for now, I suppose we should go ahead and claim ourselves a room because like... <laughs> Your boy is tired. That's the bathroom. That's not that, That's not the correct room. Here we go. It should be good. Let's just close this just so we don't have anyone spying on us. And, well, it seems like we should be good. We managed to get to Louisville. We're at the edge of it. And now all that we need to do is make it to the Grand Ohio Mall. Which, I mean, I, I don't know how we're gonna get there, but we will. Somehow. And it'll be an amazing journey. So then, everyone, I'm gonna put Larry to bed now. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. Hello everybody, good morning. Hope you're all ready because we have a lot of ground to be covering today. This is now gonna be the beginning of our adventure through Louisville. And of course we need to get from one corner to the other, which is gonna be quite fun. So, step number one, we need to keep heading straight up until eventually we hit the river. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna casually and very nicely and slowly take it over here this way. We're gonna walk between the houses, jump over the fences, just make it through the buildings. Oh boy, sorry for disturbing you people, but as I was saying, we're just gonna slowly walk towards the water, and afterwards we're gonna be following the water down east, until we reach our final destination, the mall. Right, come on Larry, jump the fence, I'm just gonna need to get through. And that should be fine. Ooh, we got a car. That would certainly help, but I do want to have a look. But I do want to experience this place to its fullest. So we are going to be just kind of walking, taking it slow and looking into any buildings which might catch our attention. Ooh, Bible Spirit Baptist Church. That is a really big church building. It looks really cool. Ooh, it's so foggy today as well. 
so atmospheric. I love it. This game really does do an amazing job at setting up the atmosphere. <clears throat> I mean, the color and everything. Oh, shivers. Shivers, I tell you. Just gonna put away our axe. I don't think we're gonna need it. Whoa, what did we just hit? We're not gonna be able to go inside. Ooh, maybe we will. Nice. Just gonna make it through the houses, you know? Casual. And that is a lot of zombies. Jeez. We don't wanna mess around with that. And I don't think we're gonna be able to make it through this house, but I see an opening. I see an opening up there. That is where we're gonna make it through. This should all eventually lead us to one place, so we can't really go wrong. And yep. Or not. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Moderate extortion. Bro, I'm not even running. Then again, we do feel quite hungry. Let's see if we've got anything that we can eat while we walk. Ah, yes, we've got the ice cream. Right, why don't you eat the ice cream? There we go, we're stuffed. Ooh, what are these buildings? This is like a tour. I love it. What do we have inside here? It looks like a lounge of some sort. Ooh, just gonna avoid you. I would be fighting and killing these zombies, but considering how much we have to get through and how far away we still are, you know, we literally have to track through the entirety of Louisville. I don't want to really be tempting fate. So we're just gonna have to take it nice and slow. And I would consider taking a car, but... Well, I mean, with, uh, <laughs> with what state we are in, with the weather right now, it wouldn't really be too smart driving in this weather. With all this fog and mist everywhere. Can we get up? We can't get up. Right, let's, let's, let's keep walking then. Oh, was it by any chance my me trying to climb this that was causing the extortion? I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I guess that just means we're gonna have to go around. Not the most ideal situation, mainly because now I'm going to be attracting all of these guys, but it's fine, we can... That was a gunshot. As I was saying though, it's alright, we can outwalk these guys, so I'm not too fussed. And as long as we're walking, it shouldn't really take down our, uh, shouldn't really exhaust us too much. Now isn't this a terrifying screenshot? Look at this. Just poor Larry in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, and we've got another car park. Okay. Let's keep walking. Let's see what we bump into. Other than the hordes of zombies. Oh my god. Oh no, we've got another fence. Ah, never mind. I see an opening. We should be alright. LSU. Louisville University? If that's the case, then this would be... A gym? Whatever this building is, it's massive. I'm guessing this is the... I want to say this is the main campus for the university, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really sure. Now, will I be able to climb over this? I will! Good! Let's be on our way then. We've got another building here. Let's have a look and see what this place is. Ooh, wow. Okay, infested by zombies It is what obviously what this is. That just means that I don't really want to go there. Roger's Humanities Building. No idea what that could be. It's either very empty or full to the brim with zombies in the rooms. Well, whatever. Let's continue. We have places to be. Places to be. Let's go. Let's just walk around you. You're getting awfully close, but it's fine. Not close enough to grab us. Whoa, look at the map. What is that massive yellow building? I think we're slowly starting to get into the more concentrated area of Louisville. This will be good, though. This will be good. Let's see what we got going on here. Maybe we can get inside. Oh, wow, we can get inside. All right. Let's have a look and around and see what this place actually is. It doesn't seem like I can get anywhere else from here. Maybe here? No, never mind then. Let's just continue on our adventure. But we are gonna have to jump the fence again for that. Hopefully we got enough energy, we do! Okay, that makes it simpler. Honestly, I keep forgetting how massive, absolutely astonishingly huge Lewis will actually is. I mean... We are making some really... Ah, oh, look at that, we're almost there. So if we just follow this road up, we should get there eventually. Oh, we got a zombie, right? We should keep moving. But I do have to say, these are some beautiful houses. Look at that one. If I ever have a house, that's the texture I want to have. I want my house to have. Oh, I love the stony brick texture. It's so very pretty. This one, however, this is probably my least favorite. Ooh, what is this? That looks so pretty. These are some really nice looking... I'm guessing they're apartments, maybe? Holy Light Baptist Church, so another church. Some chairs on the roof over there. Okay. See, if I managed to secure that building, that would have actually been quite 
a good base. I mean, then again, speaking of a base, it's in the middle of Louisville, so it probably, it, it probably wouldn't be the safest, but it would be cool. Especially with that roof, that would have been a really good competitor for, not competitor, candidate. That would have been a really good candidate for a roof garden. Alright, we've got a few more houses here. I wonder where this massive building is. Ooh, we've got a few zombies after us, but eh, that's fine. We can deal with them as they appear. But let's just continue on our way through here, and whoa. That's a really cool car. Medical center? Alright, that's a really big medical center as well. Ooh, so that's the waiting area. I'm guessing all of the all of the rare supplies are farther in. Not gonna need to go there yet. Although, look at this little shop with clothes. Could have used some new clothes. I swear, if you ever play just in Louisville, if you manage to set a base, which with how many fenced off places there are here, you could easily set up a base. And if you manage that, you would never need to leave. There is just so much everywhere. You could hoard up all of the food before it becomes uh, spoiled, all of the fresh food, put it in your freezer in your base, scavenge for fresh foods, fill up the freezers, and then after your fresh food runs out, you would have more than enough canned food to last you for like months. I mean, I doubt you would be able to go through all of the food in this city. Just an amazing place this is, really. I am just so impressed more than anything. Oh, and there goes the fog. Well, at least we've got... Well, at least we don't have to deal with that anymore. Ooh, what is this? Feels fine and fair. Pawn shop. Okay. Too bad it's locked, so we won't be able to get in. But... That looks like a lot of useful stuff. There is a door there. Maybe we could get through there. Hold on, I'm gonna do a little detour. I wanna have a look in this place, see if we can get in. I think in order to get in, though, we're gonna have to jump the fence, aren't we? Which is probably for the best, because... Actually, no, hold on. There's a little opening here. Let's have a look. Okay, so I can't open this door. What about the other door down here? Oh, wow, that's a lot of zombies. All right. Aha! I'm in! I don't think I'm in the right place, though. Maybe I am. There's a bed here. And I am hearing a lot of noises. Hmm. Okay, so there's obviously... Some of them here. A lot of them here! Okay, this might not have been the smartest idea. Right, I'm not having this run end like this. Right, we gotta get out. Okay. Let's go over here, keep going, keep going. Okay, that was bad. Right, but we're doing good. Right, that might have not been... That, <laughs> that might not have been the smartest idea, but we've made it back alive. We got a little heart attack. You know, there's a little nugget down my pants, but it's, it's fine. We've made it out alive. Definitely not gonna do any risks like that again. Holy shit. Oh, and I never, it wasn't even worth it because I never managed to get to the bottom section of that place. So it was completely pointless because that's, that's the section that I wanted to have a look at, but I wasn't even able to. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Next time, next time at some point. But in the meanwhile, let's continue going through here. Whoa, night glow? This isn't a nightclub, is it? Oh, I really want to go in there if it, it's not worth the risk, but oh my god, I really want to go in there if it's a nightclub. It is a nightclub, but I don't have the time. Or the, I don't want to get stuck in there. Not risking it. So we just gotta, we just gotta go. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a very heavily infested uh, alleyway. Nice. Running through the back streets of Louisville. Like common trash. <laughs> nice. But I'd say considering where we are in Louisville, we're not doing too bad. I'm pretty sure we're almost next to the water. Which, yeah, I was right. Look at the map. We're almost there. We're gonna have a... We're gonna go have a look at the water. Because I wanna have a look at it. And then we're gonna slowly trek back. Back into the main city. And we're gonna slowly head east. Because that is where we need to go. Ooh, look at that. We've actually hit the river. Oh, that's awesome, that is. Weirdly enough, I think this is the first time ever in game that I'm seeing a body of water. I don't think I have ever seen a river or a lake in this game. I think this is the first time. I do have to say it's very cool. Right, let's move back onto a path. And I can see on the map that we've got some buildings coming up. Now I wonder what that's gonna be. Ah, yes. Bathrooms. And a little picnic area, a little playground. Nothing too crazy. Whoa, look at this. Isn't this the bridge that leads right out of Louisville? I've always wondered what's on this bridge. I've never seen anything, like any videos of it or the map. 
I don't know how it ends or how far it, how far into it it ends. I'm gonna go have a look. I want to see how it what, what's actually at the end of this. Oh, I'm just so very curious. Ooh, we got some barricades here. Maybe there's some like treasure. Oh, maybe there's guns. Maybe there's military equipment. Or maybe there's just a barricade with barbed wire. Well, that's slightly disappointing. Not gonna lie. I've expected more. But hey, we've got the entire Lewis one in front of us, so it's fine. Speaking of, so we've made it all the way through here. So now, and I'm not sure how far, but I believe we need to go all the way down this road. And as I said, I'm not sure how far, but the mall should be somewhere generally in this area. So let's begin. No time to waste. I'm surprised we haven't been getting that many hallucinations lately, if I'm honest. I mean, we are severely depressed. <laughs> My man wants to find a way to forget reality. But I can't say that it's been uh, affecting our schizophrenia very much. Somebody commented down on the last video that considering how much is happening around Larry and considering he's got schizophrenia, he's been holding it together really well. Which, yeah, I mean... Considering everything, he really has been holding it <laughs> together really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he agrees. Ooh, what do we have here? Chef, steakhouse and bar. Oh, wouldn't mind some steak if I'm honest. Lewis Will Boat Club. Oh, nice. Maybe we can go boat shopping. I wonder if they sell any boats. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Get on a boat and get out of here. Then again, easier said than done, really. And we've got a few groups of zombies here. Let's just ignore them and continue. That is going to be for the best right now. Whoa, look at that restaurant. That's so pretty. The Sea Shanty. That is really cool, honestly. You can really tell how much work the developers have put into this game. It, like, really shows. And every now and again, when I see something like that, I am reminded of it. And it just makes me, it really makes me appreciate this game so much more every single time. It is so impressive. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa. I wonder what that building is. It looks like dorms or rooms or maybe offices. I, I don't know. There's just so much going on, I can't even begin to guess. You know, I've been playing this game lately on... Uh, well, lately, I haven't been on this game for a long while now. But when I first began playing this game, I've been playing it on my Steam Deck. Now, I know it is easier to play on uh, with, with mouse and keyboard, but on the Steam Deck, mainly because you also have those back buttons there, it's not too hard. It really isn't too hard to play on the Steam Deck. So I've just been sitting, chilling on my, in my bed, playing this game on the Steam Deck, and I am so happy that it runs as well as it does on the Steam Deck, because genuinely... Oh, this game is so good. Nothing better than having a little bit of zombie apocalypse in your pocket whenever you feel like playing it. The wonders of portable gaming. Now, that is a pretty garden. So many buildings, so much to explore. I could honestly spend hours here just looking through different bits and everything, seeing what is where. Oh, just so magical. Ooh, it looks like we've got a line of shops here. Right, we don't want to go in there yet, though, because we are aiming towards the mall. That is our main objective, the Grand Ohio Mall. That is where we need to get to. Oh, I can't wait. I've never seen it. I've seen a few videos of it by uh, some of my fellow Zomboid YouTubers, and it looked really amazing, but it looks massive, honestly. Like, you could set your base in the mall, clean it out, and you would never need to leave it for for absolutely anything. There's anything you need. It's all there. It's madness. Ooh, what's going on down there? It looks like we've hit the more of a uh, working-based area. Chugs. <laughs> it's a cool restaurant name. I think the next opening I find, I'm gonna have a look at my map. I wanna see how far we've made it so far. Maybe even kinda try and guess and figure out how far we still might be from the mall. You know what? If it wasn't for that dead corpse over there, this would be a very nice little stroll in the park. Ooh, what do we have here? What is this place? Well, no idea, but it's massive. We're gonna have to walk around if we need to get to where we need to be. Unless... Wait a minute, is this the... Is this the mall? Oh my god, if this is the mall, this thing is massive! Oh wow, that turned out to be way bigger than I thought it would be, is what she said. I'm not actually sure though if this is the mall. It would... It would make sense, because it's, it's huge. Oh my god. Boys, 
We've made it. The Grand Ohio Mall. Wow. Okay, right. Before we begin anything, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna find a place to stay because we are gonna need sleep. We're gonna need some food. We're gonna need a lot of little bits and we are gonna need to mentally prepare at least i am and considering larry's affliction i think he will need a little bit of mental preparation as well so now that we've made it to the grand ohio mall let's, let's just kind of go down here let's see if we can find any any house or anything any anywhere we can sleep anywhere we can camp down for a little bit which i think i found our prime candidate for that look at that he even has a, a little summer bed so let's begin exterminating some zombies and getting inside of this building let's get this let's get these guys taken care of first because this would be the easiest way to do this come on Wait, no. Come on, go back down. You as well. Oh wow, that's uh, that's a lot of them, isn't it? Okay. This'll be fine. We can do this. Come on, you're the last one. Never mind, I've misspoken. There's two more. Nice. Okay, we got one more. Easy. Good. Now, we just have to take care of these lot. So, we're gonna use this little bit of fence to our advantage. If we just get the rest of them over now. Come on, buddy. No. Damn it. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, let's just get you. Easy. GG, boys. Good game. Alright then, let's get inside. Oh, wow. Okay. What a nice and warm welcome. Holy sh... We're starting to have a bit of an extortion, which I am gonna be honest, I'm a little worried about. But we're not doing too bad. Never mind, we're, we're doing quite bad. Ooh, ooh, this is a chance. This is an opening. God has given us an opening and I'm taking it. Ooh. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to eat. Eat a quarter of this quickly while we have the chance. Bro, please, come on. Start eating. Because having a fuller stomach is really going to help us with energy recovering and we still have quite a few zombies to take care of so i would very much appreciate you doing that okay good right let's continue come on okay on the ground nice and easy come on stop being so stubborn just Fall on the ground. That's better. Alright, let's have a look through these bodies. I want to see if any of them have a... There we go. Let's get the key from this place. This will help us out in the long run. Oh boy. Moderate extortion. Now what a fight. Do we have any more zombies on this side? Doesn't look like it. We got some doors though. We got some zombies in here. Can I take them with my knife? Oop. Okay. Well, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. I really, really, really want to have a knife kill. Hey, that was cool. All right, I liked that. But let's get her axe back because we're going to need it. Is there a light in this room anywhere? There it is. And what's this? The Ah, the laundry. Okay, right. Let's make her way up slowly. We need to find a place where we're going to be able to sleep. Ooh, this place looks decent. These are some really pretty apartments. I like the plant. Ooh, I like that plant as well. Under what we got here. Just close these. Let's close these as well. The less visibility we have from the outside, the better. And I do keep hearing that 
banging. I hope I can identify where it's coming from, but I have a feeling it's from a different room. Which, if that's the case, it doesn't really affect us too much, so I'm not gonna be... Yeah, it's definitely coming from a different room. Right, I'm gonna leave that then. Ooh, that was cool. A little slidey door, I like that. And of course, we got the zombies. Nice. Cool. We should be fine here. This place is fine. And we have a, a bed and a bathroom. Oh, look at you, Larry, not having to sleep in a car for the past few nights. I bet you're happy about that, huh? Right, but obviously we don't want you to be sleeping disgustingly mucky in the bed. So, why don't we refill all of our water bottles? And then let's get you all washed up, because bro, you need it. You've just fought through so many zombies. Yeah, that's right, you wash that dirty face off. Wash off all the muck from there. Oh, look at him washing off. He's like a little squirrel. There you go, buddy. All clean. And I can hear quite a few bashing noises now. None of them are our door though, so we should technically, in essence, be okay. It does make me a little nervous, but I think we'll be fine. And it is 6.30, so it is still quite early, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give Larry a nice early bedtime, because we're gonna rise and shine early tomorrow, and we are gonna take on the mall which I honestly cannot wait for. We're gonna kill everything in there, we're gonna take out the shotgun, we're gonna bust it out, and we're gonna try and overtake the mall. Or at least, a little part of it. Isn't that right, Larry? Uh -huh. Right then, everyone. It's time for Larry to sleep, so I will see you all in the morning. Good night. What the fu- Good morning everybody, this is the final day, day 7, and today we are going to go and absolutely annihilate the mall. But first, breakfast. Ooh, somebody underneath us is watching TV. Fun. Right, so we do have a stir fry. So, let's eat a quarter of that, just so we have our hunger up. Let's put it into our backpack, because we're not going to need it at the moment. We have about 107 shotgun shells, 6 boxes of ammo, and other than that, it seems like, it seems like we're ready. Let's slowly make our way out of here, and let's go to the mall. Ooh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. This will be great, this will either go really well or really bad, and I cannot wait to see which one. Right, we are gonna take this exit over here. I'm gonna get my axe out because we're probably gonna need it. And yeah, I was right, we've got a few zombies here already. We're gonna take care of them because I do not want any of them to follow us. And now it's time. Now let's get to the mall. Here we go, here's the entrance to the car park. Just gotta make it through to the beginning entrance. I've got an employee over here. Nope, not doing that. We just got to our final destination, I'm not letting you bite me. Or you. Right then, the Grand Ohio Mall. I suppose we should begin. Let's go. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. Okay, I suppose this is going to be a lot more fun than I first thought. That's gunshots, alright. Seems like everybody's having a bit of a fight. Ooh. That was close. We got more of them over here on this side. All right then. Come and get it. Come and get it. Wow, what a thrilling start. Let's continue, we need to take the rest of them down. We need to make our way inside. That is step number one. All right, we're making progress. Ooh, 
Okay, right, progress is progress, but there's still quite a lot of them. And there is the extortion. Right, I guess it's time to switch to the shotgun. Now this will be interesting. Ooh, that is a lot of them. Suppose what we're gonna have to do is get out this way and just kind of start shooting. Oh, and I think we just got bit. <laughs> nice. No, just scratched. We're good. Let's disinfect that. Sterilize bandage. There we go. Nothing bad. Let's continue. We are gonna get inside this mall and we're gonna overtake it. I don't care what it takes. Oh boy. Now this is great. Let's just go down here. And... Whoa, okay. Oh wow, this is fun. Oh wow, yeah, we're gonna get quite a lot of them coming in from inside the mall, aren't we? Oh boy. Ooh, this will be interesting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take on all of them, but I will try my damn hardest. I've come this far and I'm not failing here. Oh my Christ. I do actually think that I'm, I, I might have bitten a bit more than I can chew. But, at the end of the day, it's moments like these that really make you see what Project Zomboid really is about. And in this case, it's taking on every single person in this goddamn Grand Ohio Mall. Ooh, while I'm kind of just walking around, I should probably just pop these. These should help out with a little bit of, uh, of what we're going through right now. Let's take a few more. There we go. And now, oh boy. Oh, I think my my gun is jammed. Nice. I don't feel like I'm very good at this. Oh boy. Well, we got plus one aiming at least. We're getting better. We'll get there at some point. I should have probably prepared a Molotov cocktail, but I'm gonna be honest. I genuinely didn't think there was gonna be this many of them. Wow, they really weren't lying when they said that beta blockers help you with uh, with aiming. That's amazing. I'm gonna have to utilize this tactic a lot more. Jeez. Whoa, let's continue going. We don't want to stay in one spot for too long. Oh, wow. We are walking. We are trying to swim against the tide here, aren't we? Oh boy. Ooh, I thought I was being smart there, and I mean, it kind of worked out, but not to the extent that I was hoping it would. Right, we just gotta kind of run in between them and over here. There we go. Damn, it's like ants in an anthill. Jeez. God damn, there's so many. I don't even see many openings to stand my ground, if I'm being honest. Ooh, and we've leveled reloading. Let's continue moving. We don't want to stay too still. Never stay too still. There's still so many just appearing out of nowhere. But no worries, it's fine. My two brain cells are already concocting together a plan. A very good, valuable plan of action that will hopefully work. I just need to cluster as many of them as I can. Oh my god. Ooh, we got another level of aiming. Okay. Right then. Let's take all of these guys and let's lead them somewhere else. There we go. This should work. 
Right, if I just go over here now, and I disappear around the corner, I should now, in essence, be able to sneak into, into the mall without being detected because the entire horde has been redirected to somewhere else. At least that's the theory I'm working with here. Right, and while I am here, hidden away from any potential threats, let's just relax and rest a little bit. I need to get rid of this exertion. So, to help us with that, let's eat a burrito. Nice. Well fed, severely depressed, perfect. Just what I want. Let's continue. Now then, looks quite fine. A few leftover zombies, but nothing too crazy. As long as we're gonna be able to sneak inside, it should all be okay. Stay down. There we go. And there's still so many left in here. I never would have thought there would have been this many. It's just one dead after another. Literally no chill. We're back on extortion now as well. So that's not, that's not very good. But hey, I mean at least we found the fresh produce section. Whoa! Where the hell did you come from? Man really said, where are we dropping, boys? Bro fell down from the battle bus. Jeez. Okay, I think I did it for this little area. Oh, never mind, there's more people on the battle bus dropping in. Damn, look at Larry and his war paint. Bro, you're covered in blood. Right, you know what, while we have a second, let's just rest on this chair. We need to, we really need to. Get that extortion down and then we're gonna continue. Right, we're all rested. Let's continue. I do want to kind of see what's on the second floor. So I think that's where I'm gonna go. Whoa, that's interesting. I'm gonna try and prioritize using my foot because I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to <laughs> last with this, with this one ax that I have right now. Oi, oi, no, 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 stay down. Come on. There you go. Wow, look. Look at, oh my god. I don't know how brave I feel about that. This place is massive. I don't know where to begin. Ooh, what is this place? Just some meats, some more food. Suppose it's some kind of cooking food shop thing. Let me just take you down while I have you here. Just so you don't annoy me later. Ooh, right, let's take care of all of you, one at a time. Ooh, okay, we've got some of them coming in from the behind. No, I don't really want that. No surprise attacks, please, thank you. There we go. Oh look, we got our extortion back, nice. Let's continue though. Where the hell did you come from? What is this? Oh my god, there's so many on their way up here. What? Why are you all here? There we go, double kill. We love those. Uh, 
And another few down. Nope, don't you dare. Not allowed. And we got more coming through because of course we got more. Come on. I need to make sure not to be pushed too far. Especially into that direction because I haven't been there yet. So I don't know how much of that place is actually safe. Come on. Nope. Almost. You almost got me. And of course there's more of them. Come on. Is there no end to these things? Alright. I think we got as many of them as possible. Now we're going to need to find a place to camp down for a little bit because this is getting a bit too much now. There we go. Oh, uh, another one. Come on. Where do you keep coming from? I just want to rest. I want to have Larry rest. Oh, oh wow. That moose head is really cool. Right. What do we have here? Okay, wow. What's her extortion at? Excessive can barely walk. Well, that's not good considering there is a thing coming this way. Oh my god. Larry is honestly a barbarian. Pure killing skill. No mercy. Oh, where do you keep coming from? Come on, give me a break. At least they're coming one at a time. If they came in couples, that would have been very bad. Exhausted. I can barely move. Oh my god, look at him. He's breathing so hard. Man really is exhausted. Sit on the ground, buddy. Have a sit down. You need to rest your soul. I'm just hoping that no zombie walks in on us because this is just crazy. Right, well, we're just kind of sitting here. Let's have some more food. This should help us with our uh, tiredness problem a little bit, hopefully. And while we do have the chance, let's change this bandage as well. Oh, cool. It's healed. That makes it easier. I suppose I can technically just remove these ones as well. Don't really need them. Let's put those sterilized rags and the bottle away. Oh no, what are you doing there? I don't think he saw me. Let's put these away as well. We'll need that. I don't want to get up just yet. And he's just kind of standing there. He did not notice me. So I think I'm just going to I think I'm just gonna keep an eye on him, and hopefully he won't come too close to me. Let's just kind of have a another burrito, very sneakily. Oh, oh, he's coming this way. But did he see me, or is he just gonna walk out the door? Yep, yeah, he saw me. Okay, hey buddy. Do you wanna just, uh... Okay, let's just continue sitting in our little corner. We really could use this right now, right? I think we should start moving. I, d I don't know where to. But I think we should start moving somewhere. And I'm not really seeing any any specific points of interest. I'm not really sure where I want to go here. So let's just go down. Let's just go down this way. See what we find. Because either way, we are going to bump into something. It's just a question of what. And I can't say that I'm seeing anything interesting there either. So let's just take care of you. <laughs> And what do we have here? Just turn on the lights, make it easier on ourselves. Oh, so these are the offices. All right, this could work. There we go. Nice one. Yep, yeah, it's literally just the offices. And a canteen, which that gives me a bit of an idea. Maybe they might have some coffee here or something. Aha, I was right. So if I eat this, just eat some raw coffee, it should give us a sudden burst of energy. 
boom there we go and now just drink the water and fill up the bottles because i saw that it like reduces our first levels really low and we should be all good now Right, let's continue on our adventures through the Grand Ohio Mall. Don't really know where I want to go, but there is a lot of lot of lot, bleh, <laughs> a lot of things around. So let's just kind of keep walking and see what we find. Damn, we're leveling up so many skills. This is amazing. Ooh, here we go. More zombies here. A lot more zombies here. Oh sh Let's just take care of them. Nice one. Let's see how many of them we can take care of by slowly dragging. Okay, almost. I was gonna just slowly drag them here, but I think we've I've attracted a, the attention of a few more than I wanted. Uh. Okay. There's another one. Never mind. That's an illusion. All right. Thanks, Larry. Wait a minute. Where's my axe? What the hell? Where's my my axe, bro, I've dropped my axe. I want my axe back. I mean, I have a knife still, but I can't really fight them with... Whoa. I don't have any skill with this. I don't know how I, how efficiently I can fight them this way. Oh my god, there's always so many here. Yep, yeah, never mind. I can't fight them like this. I have to keep going. Oh no, I was bitten. Right. Let's just uh, make the best of this out of this situation. Bandage, sterilize the rag. Come on, bandage it up. I may be bitten, but this isn't over yet. If I can just draw their attention. And there we go. Create an opening. Come on, 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 come on. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Let's equip that. And let's take the rest of them down. Because it's been way overdue time. There's him down. Let's take both of you down. Oh wow, there is a lot of zombies behind that door. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be really bad. Oh boy. Okay. Oh wow, that's that's a lot of them. That's a god damn it. Come on. Okay. We're getting there. We're gonna kill them. Oh my god, this is making my ass cheeks sweat. Come on, just die. Oh, you twat. Well, that happened. Just gotta take you down now as well. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? That was a lot. And yeah, we were bitten. Oh no, that's not good. Well, I suppose this is going to be the end of the series then. Larry got bit, but I guess the conclusion still stands. The schizophrenia mod is amazing. And realistically, as long as you keep on guard, you can pretty much survive as long as you could without the schizophrenia on. I mean, look at it this way. I have had Larry take zero pills for schizophrenia this entire run seven days and i have made it this far and i have only got bit because i got a bit too cheeky so if you keep finding meds which there is a ton of in the world then this mod makes an amazing little addition for that extra little challenge for your playthroughs i 100 percent recommend it anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this series and if you have drop your weapon right now wait what Drop your weapon and put your hands in the air immediately. But you are- Put your hands in the air, that's an order. We've got the building surrounded. You have nowhere left to run. No. What have I done? What have I done?
WB Oran News, your news, your station. The pursuit of a man wreaking havoc in Kentucky has finally come to an end. The man known as Larry Sinek was apprehended by police this evening in the Grand Ohio Mall. He was taken in on the charges of breaking and entering, robbery of small and large commercial and residential establishments, car theft, illegal possession of guns, and other weaponry, arson, dangerous driving, and endangering civilians as well as officers of the law on multiple occasions. The man caused chaos and mass panic within the mall after which he proceeded to surrender himself to police after they arrived on scene. The witnesses say that it was almost as if they were invisible to the man. He was running around, talking to people that weren't there, almost as if he was commentating to a non-existent audience. There was information released that Larry Siddick is indeed a schizophrenic who has not been taking the correct medication, only enhancing his crazed state. Whether the incorrect medication was prescribed by his doctor, or perhaps a mistake was made within a pharmacy, is currently undergoing investigation. However, this seems to be the main motive for these lively seven days of insanity. Larry Sinek will be appearing before court for sentencing in the upcoming weeks. WB Ellen News, your news, your station. Hey guys, Sebedaya here. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for coming along on this amazing free episode adventure with me. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves as much as I have. I also want to say a huge thank you to Zombie Ash Gaming, Swope25 and Genuine Toad for lending me their incredible voices for this last episode. I wouldn't have been able to pull it off without their help and support. The timestamps to their parts within the video are in the comments and you can find their channels in the description so make sure to go and check out their content. They all make amazing stuff. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the ending. I was planning on this ending since shortly after the first episode, but I was conflicted on whether to go with it or not. From a creative standpoint, it was so cool and I really wanted to go with it really badly, but I couldn't shake off this feeling of guilt. From an emotional standpoint, I felt that if I went with this ending, I'd upset a lot of people by almost putting schizophrenia and the people who suffer with it in a bad light, and that really wasn't okay with me. Schizophrenia is very serious, and ever since the very first episode of this series I have been reading every single one of the comments you guys have left me, sharing your experiences or the experiences of people within your lives who suffer with the disorder. It has expanded my insight so much and I am so grateful for that. So, because I had this internal battle, this dilemma, I decided to do the next best thing and ask you guys. I've created a poll with this question, I've even included butterflies because you know, butterfly effect and all that. I wanted to hint to people that this poll will have consequences without outright saying it. 369 people have voted and the majority have voted for the ending where the whole zombie apocalypse is in Larry's head. So that's how I settled it, through democracy. Anyways, thank you everyone for all of your support, as always. Make sure to check out Ash, Swope and Jen, and I'll see you all in a future video. Goodbye. Check me out. Oh!